Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we will clearly understand what exactly is a demultiplexer and how do we implement it. We are going to understand 1 to 4 DMUX and 1 to 8 DMUX where 1 to 8 DMUX will be completely implemented with Verilog for your easier understanding. Let's go ahead and let's understand what is a demultiplexer. A demultiplexer will have single input and multiple output lines. Here the input is called D and the output lines can be Y0, Y1, Y2 and Y3. There will also be select lines available and here you can see that we have two select lines available S1 and S0 appropriately. Now the task is very simple. Selection of one of the many data output lines is to be carried out and that is connected to the input. I am going to select one of these four and that is going to be connected with the input and the input is directly going to talk to one of these four based on the selection lines. So the selection lines are going to play a major role in determining which of the output lines would get connected to the input lines. That is very simple and let us go with a simple example. I am going to draw the circuit for or design the circuit for 1 is to 4 DMUX right now and understand the way it works. We have got data input which can be called as D. I have got select inputs now as S0 and S1. There are four outputs available because it is 1 is to 4 as you know and Y0, Y1, Y2 and Y3. Now what will happen? 0, 0 on select lines will get the input directly connected to Y0. 0, 1 I mean 1, 0 on S0 and S1 will get you connected to Y1. The Y1 line will be high. When S0 is 0 and S1 is 1, you get it on Y2. Similarly, when both are high, you get it on Y3. So, Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3, all these will be enabled one after another based on the select lines value. When select lines are 0 and 0, I get Y0. When select lines S0 and S1 are 1 and 0, I get Y1. Similarly, Y2 and finally, when both are 1, it is Y3. That is it. Demultiplexer is done. Now, how do we design it, sir? It is very simple as well. We are going to design that right now. I have got two inputs here. I mean, I have got one input here and two select lines. The input is D. The select lines are S0 and S1 and we are going to take the cases one after another and we are going to design. Let us take the first case and the first case is S0 being 0 and S1 being 0. So, this should be the D and the D thing is coming here and the output would be D and the D would be connected to Y0. This case is called Y0. Now the next case let us analyze. The S0 is 0 and S1 is 1 and D is available here. S0 is 0, S1 is 1. So the output should be at Y2. This should be called Y2. Now the next case, S0 is 1 and S1 is 0. So S0 is 1, you can see that here and S1 is 0. So this should be Y1. Both are 1 now and they should be simple, it is called Y3 and D gets transformed to one of these four based on this select lines. It's very simple and easy to understand. Now let's go ahead with understanding how exactly 1 is to 8, 1 to 8 D multiplexer works. This is Dmux. 1 to 8 D multiplexer works. Very simple, I love one input and that's data input. I love 8 lines now, O0, O1, O2, O3 like that or it can be named anyways. If you want ABCD also, you can keep it there. Now I have 3 select lines. As you know, it has to be 3 select lines here. Earlier it was 4. So 2 to the power of 2, 2 select lines are there. Now it is 8. So 2 to the power of 3 only will get you and 3 select lines must be there. So S0, S1 and S2. So how could the truth table be designed? Very simple. 0, 0, 0 will get A up. 0, 0, 1 will get B up, 0, 1, 0 will get C up, 0, 1, 1 will get D. Similarly, it will keep on going. That is it. It is very simple. So, we need to keep increasing these values and we will get one of these up and you can see that there is a pattern like this. So, first A, B, C, D, E and this is how the demultiplexer works. Very simple. So, what I am going to do now is we are going to design a circuit accordingly. Very simple. When I have all the three as zeros, when I have all the three status, all the three signal status as zeros, I mean select lines as zeros, what will I do? I will get the first one, O0 enable. That is what is happening here. I can take the 0 for this, 0 for this and 0 for this. Similarly, when I have all 1s, you can see that here. This is 1, 
this is 1 and this is also 1. So what will happen? It is O7. Likewise, we keep incrementing the values here and we get the corresponding output line selector. So this is how the DMUX works. Now, how do we implement it in Veriloxer? It's very simple code and there is no difficulty at all. Now, what is the module name? The module name is Demultiplexer. We have got a module called as Demultiplexer. And what are all the very important ports that we are going to use here? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and Y. S0, S1, S2. Now, what are all the inputs in this? Y is our input. S0 is our select line. S1 is our select line. S2 is our select line. What are all the outputs? A to H are all outputs. These are all outputs now. Now, how do we get A? The A is nothing but not of S1, not of S2 and not of S0. So, what will happen? All these three zeros and Y, which means the Y will be transformed as the output. Similarly, we need to go ahead with all the cases. Let's go with the last case where you could see that all the three are ones and in that case, the Y comes as the H output. First A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. That's how we get it. This is the simplest module that you can write for implementing the DMAX, 128 one DMAX and I hope you understood it. Now we need to write the test bench. The test bench is easy as well. I write the module as module test underscore DMAX 1 cross 8 and you can see that I used register Y, S2, S1, S0 and I used wire for A, B, C, D all the output are wired and now I instantiate, I begin it. Now I use display and monitor for me to get the output correspondingly whenever there is a change. Now Y is always, you can see that it is one bit here. Now Y is consistent and Y is given here. Right now the cases are here S0, S1 and S2 all three all three are 0. Now it is 100. Zero, zero. Similarly I try out all the cases with the inputs being changed for the select lines. The moment I change the values for the select lines all the scenarios will come and I would get the output and the output is very simple and easy to understand which I am going to show you right now as well. It's, it's very simple. Let's run it and see how exactly it works. Now you can see that I am going to run the code. I will get the output appropriately, I believe. We will see that. Now I am compiling the code. I compiled it successfully. I am running it. Now you got the output. Very simple. Now you can see that 000 got me A1, 001 got B. Similarly, I kept on moving for C, D, E, F, G, H. It went very nicely and we have designed a beautiful demultiplexer. Right. What is it meant for? Where do we use it, sir? Very simple. I have given you a very simple example. We can use it wherever a single source has to be connected to multiple destinations. Very simple. I have got a computer and I use a 1 to 4 DMX here. And what will happen? I can now select the output as a laser printer or as a dot matrix printer or a fax machine or an inkjet. This can happen through 1 is to 4 demultiplexer using the select lines. That's all. It's very simple and we have learned it. If you like the content and the channel, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much.